Good day, my beautiful people. We're back up in this house once again with another video on BTS because y'all voted for BTS and Dreamcatcher. So um, now we're we're going to watch a video for BTS. But um, actually today what I wanted to talk to you about and what I wanted to watch or rewatch uh, with, uh, with all of you was the live version for BTS's track Silver Spoon. And as I think that this is uh, from one of their shows in Japan, right? I think, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, do let me know, <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, I love this song. I, I think that, I mean, this song hasn't been spoken a lot about. I don't know why, because I think that this song is incredible. There, you know, up until, until I made my bass video for this specific track, you know, playing the bass line and everything, because I love the bass line on this, you know, there weren't any, any covers for this song. I don't know why. I don't know why people don't credit this song and give much more credit for this song because I think it's unbelievable it's it's really really amazing and especially this live arrangement this live arrangement should be talked about more I think that this live arrangement should be praised more because of the fact first of all it has live musicians so this is a live band arrangement that's the first one Second of all, the track itself, it's probably one of the most grooviest BTS tracks that, that I know of so far. And I love it so much. It's, it's amazing. And third, of course, the choreo. Everyone, everyone loves the choreo for this track. And you'll see in the video why, if you haven't seen this. <laughs> but I'm sure that my, like, all of my armies, they have, they have seen this. But... You know, let's talk music, let's get it, let's get to it, let's watch it, and you know, let's have a great time. And let me tell you why is this one of my favorite BTS live arrangements ever. Hey, hey, this is awesome. Hey, hey. First of all, live vocals at all times. Ooh. Yep, y'all saw that. This arrangement in general, you know, as much as they try to um, keep it as close to the original as possible, right? They put so much detail into arranging this, right? First of all, if we talk about the drums, right? So the first part of the verse, you know, for the drums, you know, is a uh, very, very tight groove. No open cymbals, no nothing. And for the second part, you know, it opened up. Now we get a drum roll. And it's interesting, you can see this throughout the, throughout the entire song, that the drums will, with each verse, with each part of the song, you know, the drums will evolve more and more and more. Because the bass line stays the same keys stay the same chord wise and everything so this is pretty much kind of a drum based song which I love I love their vocals I love Jimin's vocals on this beautiful run for Jimin I love it <laughs> that's awesome Ooh. You know, they always want to deliver a great show and you can see that, especially in this track, it's awesome. 
Oh, I love it. I love how the drums are just like, you know, evolving with each, with each verse, with each half of the verse. And I love how you can hear all of their vocals perfectly. They're unbelievable singers and performers, so... Um, the fact that they're using live instruments here, plus there is also a sample track. Which I don't think that a lot of people can notice, you know, especially with how minimal count of live musicians you have there on stage. Ooh, that's stop time. Yes, these stop times, these these tiny little things just make this arrangement so colorful, so beautiful and an amazing show, right? And oh, this is awesome. <laughs> they're awesome. I mean, they're as performers, they they are just unbelievable, and the band is killing it on this one. Oh. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> I love this track so much. I love this track, its original version so much. I love the bass line on this so much. And I will leave my base video uh, in, in the description box if you want to watch it. And of course, I'll leave this video as well. Um, but the baseline on this is as simple as it is, right? That run that baseline has, there's this one run within the entire baseline. Um, and it was... It takes such precision to play it. It takes such precision to play it, especially on an, on electric bass, because pretty much I'd say 90% of the songs that BTS has, right? They use synth bass, so it's 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 just it's more intricate to play it on on an actual like an electric bass, so. And it was such, it, for me, it was such fun figuring it, you know, figuring that run out, you know, especially as I was learning the song by ear, you know, because it doesn't have any tabs and not a lot of, not a lot of BTS songs have like bass tabs and everything like that. And it was, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. And, you know. And the drums, if we talk about the drums and everything like that, you know, it was, you you could see within, within this track, you know, drums were the key, you know, within this entire song, the drums on the song were the solo instrument. Even though if we, look, if we talk about, you know, almost, <laughs> almost, I'd say 98% of pop music, you know, is drum and bass based right so they will be the foundation for each song but in this specific arrangement you know the drums were doing kind of the solo instrument part which is which is which is not mind-blowing for me because for me <laughs> like at the moment i play in a reggae band so if we talk about reggae music completely out of a topic but still so you kind of get the idea if we talk about reggae music so within reggae music drums and bass also will be solo instruments most of the time especially drums uh so i love how they kind of use this kind of same aspect you know and they were talking about not talking they were you know they, they kind of put you know drums on the spot there and you can see within each almost half of the verse the drums were building and building and building and then with the drum roll still kind of also the drum roll was super super minimal and everything but it still it kind of led to this 
it's it, it was just unbelievable right it, it it brought you to this build up you know which 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 we hear within the original uh version of the song right you know they did they do with all the risers and you know with all the effects and everything but if you can pull the same effect with live instruments you know it takes a lot you know it it takes a great mind to do it you know and it takes a great producer great arranger you know <laughs> and um to do so so i loved it because so so drums and bass were pretty much the key instruments here within this track and i love it and especially the drums as they were kind of put on the spot put as a solo instrument i love it you know um since you know the the synthesizers the key players you know they they have the same kind of uh filling filling the space the missing gaps right with the with the chords and and they and they used a lot of uh, major minor seventh chords w within this arrangement um which you don't actually hear within the original version and the original track if you listen closely um there aren't a lot of seven chords within the original version but i love this i i love how they you know put a lot of color in it with the seven, with the major minor seven chords here um you know and uh, there as i mentioned there were few samples within this uh you know it's <laughs> of course it's 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 difficult for them to to sing you know 15 parts of backup vocals so there were backup vocals as samples at least part of the backup vocals were sampled which is common which is all good and and, and fine you know and but you also heard that they also sang some backup vocals also live on top of on top of the pre-recorded ones or the sampled ones and also um uh, i think that also the sample there was not only vocals but also a minimal part of synthesizers i think as well especially that that kind of that 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 riff there you know uh, i think that that was also sampled um maybe not but i think it was because i only saw one key player so <laughs> um but yeah i love this song so much you know they're awesome performers they're great entertainers they're amazing singers and dancers and this is honestly my favorite bts live arrangement that there probably is if we don't count you know all the medleys and 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 remixes you know that they have done for the speak yourself tour and 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 everything like that but i hope this you know kind of gave you a little more insight and and you know and kind of showed you more you know how and why bts do what they do and why are they so good at it um but yeah i will leave you to that always remember to be good be kind rock and roll and i will see y'all very soon with a new video cheers Just